Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the Artisan Cutlery Arroyo. Sorry, I almost said Artisan Knife. So, I've done an unboxing on this, and I've done a disassembly on this, and I just, I had everything set up for desktop view, so I went ahead and just, uh, I'm going to review this tabletop, because I need to get this out. Um, Chris Wolf won this, actually. Um, the other night on On The Edge. So shout out to Chris. Uh, thank you for watching and participating, brother. We had a lot of fun that night. We gave away like three knives and a pry bar just because uh, we were having so much fun. And um, that's why I buy a lot of these knives. Uh, so I can review them and then give them away to you guys. Um, so anyway, this is the Artisan Cutlery Arroyo. Um, this specific one right here was beat to shit by Jake over at Bearded Gear and then sharpened by him. Um, he put a fantastic edge on this thing, shaves hair. Um, he did a great job with his KME. Um, sorry, I got a little bit of KPL coming out here, probably. I overindulged a little bit. Um, but yeah, he put a great edge on it, and then Kyle went ahead and reviewed it, um, and then it made its way back to me. I'm the one who originally bought it. I sent it right to Jake, because I really wanted to know about the AR RPM 9 steel. So you see the serial number there, AR RPM 9. You see the Dirk Pinkerton uh, maker's mark. You see that it is made in China, and there is your artisan logo. Um, so interesting knife and I will say right away, this is not for me guys. So, um, if you just wanted to know that there's your answer on that, but aesthetically this knife is interesting. So I like micarta. That's why I chose this kind of, I guess, green micarta. Um, it actually feels pretty good. Um, but I'm not a big Persian blade guy and I actually thought this knife had a much less substantial Persian blade look to it. I thought it was just a little bit of an upswept at the end, but it's pretty pronounced on here. Um, you can see how much belly there is there, and then it comes out to this kind of like rhino tip. Um, it's just not my aesthetic, and I don't really understand the functionality of a Persian blade either. Um, so yeah, aesthetically, it's, it's, it's kind of a miss for me, guys, but it was cool enough looking in pictures that I picked it up. So there's that. Um, ergonomically, it's actually fairly comfortable. I mean, I can get all four fingers on just fine. Um, you have this little bit of jimping right here, which is not too uh, sharp or anything. You can see it's only on the sides, uh, which is interesting, uh, but it works fantastically. I've seen that on one other knife. What other knife did I see that on where it was just on the sides? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. I think it was the Concept Warrior, the Lefty Warrior I had, I'm pretty sure. Um, so anyway, ergonomically, it fits really well in my hand. I have a large glove size hand, um, large to XL, it depends, but um, it fits literally perfectly in my hand. I can feel this clip a bit. It's not exactly a hot spot, but being a loop over deep carry clip. It does, you feel it a little bit. They did plateau it at the end, so it doesn't like bite in, but you do feel the weight, you know, the tallness of it, I guess you would call it. Um, and this does have a reversible clip, so that's nice. Uh, but yeah, ergos are pretty good, but you only have this one grip. There's no forward choil, uh, none of that stuff. I don't really, you guys know me, I don't mess around with this stuff. Um, so, I mean, if you want to hold it like this, yeah, that is actually really comfortable like that. Um, so definitely something to consider there. Um, action on this guy is actually not bad. The detent is a bit light on this example right here. So it's one of the reasons I'm not a huge, huge fan of this guy. Um, so yeah. Detent being a little light is an issue for me, but for most people, this is going to be perfectly fine. You're just going to flip it out, and you're not going to bitch about it, but if you do this, you can easily fail it. Um, I have taken this apart. I did not put skiffs in there. These are the stock bearings. I think I tuned it 
pretty well. I mean, it drops shut like that pretty good, um, and there's no play. I will admit the centering was quite a bugger for me. Uh, I could not get that center perfectly. Um, yeah, just did not want to center. Sorry, I hit the focus thing again. I hate that. Um, uh, it did not want to center. You see that? Um, I let Chris know that on the live stream. Hopefully he was listening when I told him that. I mean, it's not like terrible. Um, and it's a free knife, but like, you know, I don't, I tried guys. I really did. And then I just gave up cause I, it's not my knife. To, like it's not my kind of knife. It's not a knife that I was going to really put that much effort into um and i did try if you watch the video i tried to get it centered um and it just wasn't happening without blade play and stuff so um i prefer to have no blade play than have um centering uh preferably I'd like both obviously uh, but yeah the action yeah you know it's a it's a four out of ten on action for me just because of that detent if it had been stiffened up a little It'd be a much better uh, feeling there. Um, cutting. So again, I've only used this with Jake's Edge, and it is phenomenal. Um, it cuts extremely well. I mean, it is sharp as balls. It shaves hair instantly. I mean, it could probably whittle some hair, honestly. He freaking killed it with this blade. So, um, And then it has this flat grind that goes most of the way down. Um, it's just done very well. You have a lot of belly here. Uh, again, I don't really understand functionality for a trailing point or Persian. Somebody let me know. Is it more of a like a defensive thing? You know, a stabbing thing? Or like what does this offer you that a drop point doesn't? Like what's better about it? So that's something I'd really like to know. Um, but cutting is really good. Um, sounds. Eh, it's like a four or a five out of ten. There's nothing special and nothing terrible. You can you hear it, it has steel liners, so it's not brutal. Um, uh, but it's not great either, right? Carry. Carry's fine, guys. It has the deep carry clip. Tension's good on it. Um I definitely say it's a good carry. You have the flipper tab, but I mean for any flipper, you have a flipper tab of some sort doesn't it's not obnoxious or anything like that i think it's fine so carry is good it's not like fantastic but it's good um all right so we covered aesthetics ergos carry cutting sounds action um value yeah so i paid like 70 bucks for this and um that's not a value guys it's my carta and ar rpm 9 which i think they were putting on knives they're selling for like 35 or 40 bucks. Um, pretty sure I saw it on the Rhea at some point. Um, so I don't know. I still don't know where this steel lands. Like Jake thinks it's good steel. Um, it's not like some great super steel, but it's definitely like better than D2, which is what they basically accomplished was a stainless D2, uh, in terms of like the edge retention and stuff. So that's great, but 70 bucks. I like my Carta, but steel liners, uh, crappy detent, um, I don't know. I just don't think it's a value. I, I don't necessarily think it's overpriced. I just don't think it's some, like, great value, you know what I mean? Um, recommendations. Yeah, I I just can't, guys. For me, I it's not for me. I, I don't like the action. I'm not a fan of the looks. Um, I do like the ergonomics. I love the cutting at least for normal tasks that, I, again, I don't understand. I want to know more about Persian blade styles um, and why they are used at all, right? Um, it's just be good knowledge to have. What does all that belly and that upswept point give you? Um, reach? I don't know. I'm just constantly guessing on that. Um, but yeah, ergos, carry, cutting, good. I mean, solid, but aesthetics and action are kind of my top two things, guys, and it lacks on both of those for me. So, for me, this is not something I would say go ahead and get, but if you love Persian knives and you don't mind a light detent, which, again, I've had some people say they have this and the detent's not that bad, 
Um, and it has gotten better as I've used it, but it's definitely still like, you know, a flopper, guys. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, not big recommendation here for righties or lefties, but I will say it functions perfectly for a lefty with the liner lock. Leftability scale on this one, guys, is probably like a 7 or an 8. It works great. Um, so that's a positive. So yeah, guys, um, that's my quick review of the Artisan Cutlery Arroyo. I'm going to go ahead and get this shipped out to Chris tomorrow and get him that tracking. Congratulations, brother. Uh, really, really have loved interacting with you and everybody in the community. Uh, just so amazing. You guys are so cool. Uh, I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.